A rent house raided. Police tipped off by a landscaper whose nose knew something illegal was growing inside. News for Jacqueline Chapel in the newsroom with details. Jacqueline. Kevin Heather, arrest warrants have been filed against two men associated with four different homes here in the metro. Three of those being in Edmond. One of the men telling police he had a medical marijuana card. Evan, please! Evan, please! Yep, there it is. They tried to claim that this was for personal use. A landscaper smelling a strong scent of marijuana coming from this Edmond garage, leading to a bust. On March 23rd, we received a call from a homeowner that they had been tipped by one of their employees. They believed that their tenants at the time were running, possibly growing uh, marijuana in the garage. Arrest warrants have been filed against Roland Ruiz and John Morales Jr., both of them facing felony charges of cultivation of marijuana and possession of a firearm while in the commission of a felony. Edmond police, if you're in the attic, come down now. This Edmond police body cam footage showing row after row of marijuana plants lined up in the garage. Neighbors remembering police outside, surprised to learn what was going on beyond these walls. We were coming home, driving down the street, and police cars were lined up across the street from the house. We didn't know what was going on. But that wasn't all. The investigation taking detectives to two other homes in East Edmond and another in OKC. What these two are doing is they're from Florida and they come here and they are setting up grow houses. <laughs> According to this affidavit, at a home off North Post Road, detectives finding 11 pounds of marijuana, over 1,200 pre-rolled marijuana cigarettes, and a firearm. In the basement, nearly 500 juvenile marijuana plants under grow lights. It's just weird then because you know you don't know what's going on at your neighbor's house. Unfortunately, these things are moving into Edmond. You never know where they're going to be. And the affidavit also says both men have a criminal history out of Florida. At last check, neither have been arrested.